What's up, y'all? I'm gonna be TV here back to you another video. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about a very touchy topic, and I just want to strictly enforce and say that this is for educational purposes only. Some of you guys ask how people made money in basic training for educational purposes, I assume, and that they did not want to partake in these activities. And so that's what I'm going to go up. Once you go to basic training, you guys are pretty much shut out from the real world. And it's kind of like prison. So pretty much things are sold there and done there that wouldn't really be done in the real world. So the first way people made money in basic training was liking the video, subscribing if they're new to Aaron Batley and the AB team, hashtag team AB, and joining the Discord. With that being said, I want you guys to tell me some of your basic training stories too about how people might have gotten caught in basic training or whatever the heck. Just put it down in the comments below. You feel me? I, I want to know. Anyways, the first way people made money in basic training was selling things. Pretty much everything in basic training could be sold for a price, whether it was uniform, notebooks, freaking whatever, you name it. Most popular was cough drops. Not just these cough drops though. If you had the fruit flavored ones, bro, you were a millionaire. People would sell these bags for like 20 bucks. People would sell like five individual ones for like four dollars or something like that. I don't know. People made the prices. There's like a whole little economy. Like it's basically supply and demand. Like if it's just one person selling something, they're gonna make the price. If there's like people, multiple people who are trying to like cut each other, it was, it was like it was freaking. It was oh, it was like weird, bro. Oh my god, it was like it was so weird. But yeah, if you guys had cough drops, because what people would do is their parents or whoever from home would send them fruit flavored cough drops or whatever the heck they wanted that were allowed by the drill sergeant. You guys are going to also get access to the PX while at boot camp too or basic training but not often so pretty much you would buy like a month's worth or however long's worth of stuff like that but some things weren't even offered at the PX and that's when your family came in you feel me? So anyways people would ask their family to mail them things that you know you couldn't get at the PX and so they took advantage of that. I would not be surprised that there would be people who came in with zero dollars and made like two hundred, three hundred dollars just basically selling things to other soldiers. I never bought any of that stuff though. Like you feel me? I was not stupid. I'm not paying twenty dollars for a freaking halls pack. The second way people made money in boot camp or basic training was services. You feel me? It might sound weird to you, but there's this one dude from Singapore. I forgot his name, but. The dude knew how to give massages, you feel me? And he would charge $5 per massage. And I don't know what the heck it was, because I never, I didn't get a freaking massage. I wasn't about that, you feel me? But soldiers wanted to get massages from him. And I, I don't know if, if he just had these magic hands or whatever the hell, but they were just lining up to get massages from this guy. And he made bank from doing massages. Also, like another service people did was folding people's clothes because, you know, you do your laundry, people are too lazy to do their, fold their freaking clothes. So people took advantage of that. Hey bro, I'll give you $5 if you fold my laundry. That's how people make money off of services. Basically, you can make money off of any type of service that you would do for free anyway. The third way people made money in basic training was taking fire guard shifts. If you don't know what a fire guard shift is, basically you have to stay up for an hour and you have to like clean the latrine or something like that while making sure nobody's doing anything they're not supposed to, there's no fires and all that other good stuff. People wanted their sleep. You're in basic training, you barely get enough sleep as it is. So people would pay the price. I'm talking 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars to get that one hour of sleep, you feel me? So people, and then people would be more than happy to, you know, even do two, three shifts at a time just to make that bread. The last one I could think of was people selling the MRE candy. So basically when you guys get MREs, there's candy that comes with it and they basically sell that candy to the fat people. Not the fat people, but like, you feel me? The people who just love that particular candy, like there'd be sour Skittles that's expired or Reese's that's also expired most likely. And whatever, various you know, candy and people will sell it for five, ten dollars make back. But yeah, pretty much you can make money doing anything in basic training. I hate to compare it to prison, but it's like prison. So here's a story for you guys, right? So we slept in the same bay as a holdover, right? As holdovers. So basically, if you guys don't know what a holdover is, they're basically waiting to get kicked out the army or they're waiting to retrain with another, you know, basic training cycle because they failed and they have to restart over, right? So anyways, holdovers got their cell phones on, you feel me? They weren't supposed to tell us, we weren't even supposed to talk to holdovers, that's what the drill sergeant said, but like, it's kind of hard not to talk to somebody who's sleeping in your bay, who knows more information about basic training, because like, some of these people, they were all the way up to graduation phase, but they, for some whatever reason, they failed. And so we were, we were talking, whatever, whatever, right? 
And then, mind you, like they got their phones. One soldier sold phone calls, right? Because he had his phone. The drill sergeant got caught word of it. It was mass formation, you know, morning formation. The whole basic training battalion's there, battery, right? And he just got flamed by the drill sergeants. He cried in front of everybody. He was crying, I was laughing, because I think that stuff's funny at the time. And I'm like, yo. But yeah, he even had to return all the money back to all the, so the trainees that he freaking uh, sold phone calls to. And yeah, it was just not a good time for him. I don't even know if they let him graduate basic training or just sent him home. Oh, that's another thing. Some of y'all really think y'all slick, bro. I'm like, bro, okay, look. Graduation time, right? I find out some of my battle buddies had their phones the whole entire time. I'm like, no effing way, bro. Now, mind you, you're not supposed to have your phone in basic training, especially if you're just a regular soldier, not a holdover. But some people, I'm not gonna say no names, but this one dude had his phone the entire time. He told us how he hit it the whole time. And we were like, yo, no freaking way. That's why you gotta be cool with people in basic training because like, once you let somebody know that they can trust you, you never know what they have in their little arsenal, whatever that, you know, you feel me? So you gotta be cool with people. But this dude had his phone the whole entire time, which I thought was crazy. But this one other soldier got caught with her phone and she had to redo basic training. You can get kicked out of basic training for getting caught with your phone. So make sure that's the risk you wanna take if you guys wanna do that stuff. I'm not advocating any of this stuff. I'm telling you guys this for educational purposes. Don't be stupid, you feel me? But yeah, y'all, peace.